Thank you, Mr Speaker. On inflation, much of the discussion in the House today has been about fiscal aspects of that, but a huge part of the rise of inflation in this country and across the Western world is indeed the monetary system, and particular quantitative easing, which has been continued long beyond the financial crisis when it was put in place. I know, as we all do, that the Bank of England is independent when it comes to the setting of interest rates, but what is the Treasury's view in relation to working with the Bank of England to bring down inflation, bearing in mind the significant impact that quantitative easing has had on that, and if he could say a bit more about that to the House today. Minister. Well, as you would expect, the Treasury has um, a very strong and frequent dialogue with different members of the Bank of England and deputy governors, but our main inflation tools around an independent monetary policy, uh, fiscal responsibility and supply side activism will remain the best uh, weaponry to deal with the challenges that we face, and we will work in a coordinated fashion with an independent Bank of England to address those pressures.